you ever wonder if our relationship is jinxed, Clark? Not just here, but everywhere. What do you mean? I mean jinxed, like it's not meant to be. I mean, just look at everything we've had to overcome. Lois. Clark, I'm serious. Maybe we're missing the obvious here. Maybe it's time we stopped pretending and started looking at the writing on the wall. I mean, it just seems like every time we turn around, every time we try and take the next step, something is in our way trying to keep us from getting there. When you add it up like that, it's a lot. Maybe that's the point. Maybe what this really is, is a test to see how badly we want to be together. Maybe it's up to us to decide if it's meant to be. What do you think? I think there's a very good reason why we're soulmates. Me for, for interrupting. Are you kidding? We could set our clocks by it. Yes, yes, fine. I'm so sorry, but time is of the essence, and I think I have an idea. What would you think if we found a way to have the fox do Baron Tempest himself and lose to him? Might keep the curse from ever being cast, I guess. And you could return to your honeymoon. But that would leave the fox to spend the rest of his life at the mercy of Baron Tempos. Isn't that preferable to the alternative? Him having to endure the first of a never-ending string of tragedies. What about Lady Loisette? We can't just let her be stuck with the Baron. Well, if I know her, and I think I do, she can handle him. <sighs> Lois, I... Clark, I want to go home now. I want to turn on some soft music and open that champagne and finish what we started in the 20th century. Foreplay is great, but this is ridiculous. I'll need my green tights. <laughs>